Hey guys, it's The Bubble. Today I'm in RU, and the team that I'm using was one of my favorites to build, especially since I've always wanted to use a Polyrath competitively. So when I saw that Polyrath's typing was perfect for the team, I was just like, yes! So my Sigilyph is rather cool. It has a Flame Orb, but Burn doesn't affect it because of Magic Guard, which makes it so Sigilyph can't be harmed by status conditions or weather. So the Flame Orb just prevents it from getting other status conditions, like Paralysis or Sleep, and it can use Psycho Shift to pass the Burn onto the opponent. It also has the Cosmic Power Stored Power combo. Cosmic Power raises Sigilyph's defense, and Stored Power gets more powerful with every stat boost that Cosmic Power provides. It also has Roost to recover HP. And Magneton isn't very special. Its main purpose is to trap Steel types with Magic Pull and kill them with Hidden Power Fire, but that won't really help much in this battle since my opponent doesn't really have any Steel types. I'm, it's holding an Eviolite, and it has Substitute, Thunderbolt, and Magnet Rise. Uh, so, Polyrath is ru running a sub-punch set. I set up a substitute and then use Focus Punch, which is very powerful, but fails if Polyrath is hit without a substitute. I have Encore to trap opponents into moves like Toxic and Thunder Wave, forcing them to switch out and allowing me to set up. The fourth move is Waterfall for coverage. Crustle is just a generic non-shell smash, spike, stealth, sturdy Crustle to set up entry hazards on the opponent. And Sceptile has a flying gem that uses acrobatics, ridding itself of the gem and thereby doubling its speed with its ability Unburden. It also has Swords Dance, which you can set up for a sweep with Unburden. Kabutops is mainly there for the rapid spin, but it's also quite powerful, with a Life Orb, Swords Dance, Stone Edge, Waterfall, and a nice 329 attack stat. My opponent's team is pretty generic. I expect to set up Spore Smeargle with Eviolite Munchlax and Leftovers Dust. Uh, Dusknoir as Stallers, and with Feraligator, Electivire, and Hitmonlee as Sweepers. All right, let's go. All right, so let's get it started. I lead off with Sigilyph, he goes in with Smeargle. I'm gonna speed this out up a bit because what Smeargle basically does is he, he just sets up Stealth Rock and then Seismic Toss, and he just sort of lets my Sigilyph set up. So my Sigilyph's just sort of like defense gasming. I'm, not, I'm really not sure why he's not switching, uh, but he can't really do much because Seismic Toss will just be uh, met with Roost. Um, so yeah, there there I am, and I hit him with the stored power, and so I roost again. Yeah, it looks like they're going in slow motion. Uh, so he hits me with a seismic toss, and I'm going to roost again so that once I kill this Smeargle, I'll be able to just be at, abs uh, at maximum health possible, which is 72%. Stored power takes him down. Alright. So out comes Snorlax, the Munchlax. He immediately goes into Zoroark, the Dustnoyer. Um, pressure... Stored power, and he has a red card. I guess that sort of explains why he let me set up, but it definitely would have been a smarter decision to um, to immediately go into that dusk nor will o wisp. I had to substitute any mists that just sort of completely failed. Out comes long feet, um, thunderbolt, but I have a substitute, so long feet is is pretty much screwed here. After the life orb and the thunderbolt, long feet will go down. So that's the end of his hitmonlee. Uh, Snorlax the Munchlax makes his return, I use a substitute, and he hits me with Fire Punch, I guess just sub to see what he had. So I'm gonna switch out and I'm gonna go into Polyrath to tank that Fire Punch like a boss. Uh, I swear to god if I got in Burn there, but I did not fortunately, Leftovers. And I, now I can get in a substitute to block his Toxic, I'm gonna use Encore so that he has to keep using that Toxic over and over again or else switch. Um, and that'll let me get a get in a, a nice focus punch. So, yeah, he he does. I, I tighten my focus, um, and he does switch to Gator Time. But I just smack Gator Time in the face with a focus punch. Uh, does a good deal of damage and with my substitute. Uh, he will not be able to kill Polyrath before he dies to yet another focus punch down. All right. So I'm in pretty good shape, uh, I still have all of my Pokemon and he's down 3, but out comes Stop Contact. Um, so I send in Crustle to take, uh, to take Electivire's hits, he gets crit, uh, this guy gets a crit with Thunder Punch, which is really, really annoying. Um, after Ice Punch, I'm still alive, so I use X Scissor, 44%, not bad. If he hadn't gotten a crit with that Thunder Punch, I, he would be, he would be in, in, in deep red. So he uses, he uses Thunder Punch again, and down goes Crustle. Uh, the first one of my Pokemon to faint. Uh, I send in Sceptile. I thought, I guess I thought that Sceptile would be faster. It is. I use Leaf Blade. Uh, 60%, but then Ice Punch is able to one-shot my Sceptile. So this, this Stop Contact Electivire 
it's not not good for me. Out comes Kabutops. I thought it would be faster, but no. Uh, he's able to thunder punch it, and and he gets one shotted. Uh, out comes Magneton. I, I suppose I thought Magneton would be faster. Also, uh, Brick Break takes out the Magneton. So I send out Sigilyph. I thought it would be able to take a hit. Turns out it's faster. What do you know? Uh, Psycho Shift cripples it with a burn, so it's not able to one-shot uh, one shot uh, Sigilyph. So, yeah, now I can use a Roost, and Roost gets rid of the Flying type, so he no longer has that super effective Thunder Punch. So it'll only do 23% since he also has a burn. So yeah, now I can also start to get my, my Cosmic Powers up, raise my defense, and lower the, power, uh, lower the damage of his Thunder Punch even more, uh, which, is, which is pretty great. So yeah, but he's still getting hit. He's still getting hurt with his burn. So I'm yeah. I'm just gonna sort of. I'm gonna speed this up again here, because uh, I'm just sort of doing the same thing that I did with that Smeargle. So out comes Zorak the Dusknoir. Stored power doesn't do nearly as much uh, without all those cosmic powers. He's able to get in a few hits, but Zorak goes down. Um, so yeah, this this Snorlax Munchlax is gonna face pretty much the same fate as all of its predecessors. Uh, its fire punches are just going to start getting less and less powerful, and yeah, and then uh, pr pretty soon I'm I'm going to be able to just just take him down with a with a stored power. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the end of this video. And yeah, he gets hurt by his burn. There's your stored power critical hit for the win. So yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.